Good day, good day, everybody. Sorry for the wobbly beginning there. I am back in Siem Reap, Cambodia, walking along the riverside, which is, as you can see, gorgeous, full of massive old lush trees. There's tons of greenery. The whole thing is beautiful. The, you know, the green grass and the, the, the pavement, the infrastructure, the roads. And it's peaceful, it's, it's busy but not busy, you know? Unlike in Phnom Penh, where you can't even cross the road because it's so crazy and never, nobody stops for you. So I've decided to come back. I went to Padambong, didn't like that at all. So I've decided to move back to Siem Reap because I was close instead of Phnom Penh because I've had quite a lot of trouble there with phones being stolen and tuk-tuk drivers trying to rip me off and threaten me because I told them to fuck off. And if you tell them to fuck off because they harass you so much on the street, almost grabbing you by the arm to get them in your, get you in their tuk-tuk, they get nasty. Here, that's not the case. Here, it's a totally different vibe. Siem Reap is, is more like a European, a European, an old European city, where it is colonial French style. They look after it very, very well. It's very clean and beautiful. As you can see over here, it's crossing the main, the main bridge. Uh, the main bridge is because the royal palace is over there. So that's the that's the smaller royal palace in Siem Reap. The, prop, the big one is obviously in Phnom Penh. But the king does come here on occasion, I think once or twice a year. And there's always a lot going on. So they have festivals over, the, over there, where the parking area is music festivals and, and, and streets sales uh, vendors and stuff yeah so you can see here that's the that's the king and the royal palace area in there which unfortunately you cannot get into anyway that's fine I mean they they, have to, they obviously have to be protected but it's just fantastic it really is um, just coming here alone because lifted my spirits, has inspired me, has motivated me to be stronger, more healthy, get better sleep. I haven't been sleeping that well recently because I've been working too much, but can I also do crypto trading, uh, crypto, crypto, crypto trading uh, quite at night, which can go on quite late. So that's not the best, but anyway, that's not, not the issue here. The issue is simply uh, I spent a lot of time in Kemp and Kampot, which is too boring, nothing to do. Plus, uh, I don't like the expats there. And here, it's just, it's just lovely. It's just the right mix. It's, you've got stuff going on, but look, it's calm. This is the main road along the riverside in the center, and there's next to no cars, got just a few. It's just people hanging out, young kids, couples chilling. Chilling, chilling, chilling. Hello. Shy, but nice. Yeah, it's lovely. And the guy behind me walking too. Yeah, so it's just, uh, as you can see, it's beautiful. There's a nice gallery over there. And the river, what's it called? The river. The River Gallery, yes. And then you've got the FCC, Foreign Correspondence Hotel and Bar over there. Actually, I'm not quite sure what that's about, why it's called FCC. Uh, let's go have a look. Foreign Correspondence, what does the second C stand for? Okay. Belongs to the minor hotel group, FCC Anchor Hotel Restaurant Bar, property of minor hotels. Now I know it stands for foreign correspondence, but I don't know what the second C means. But as you can see, it's very beautiful. It's a beautiful bar. See, everything here in Siem Reap has style. You, most, you know, all, all of the even local and, and particularly Western style restaurants all. They're just done very well, you know? They, 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 don't, they don't skimp on the money. 
Look, they, they spend money. Look, look at that beautiful place. That's a hotel apartment building, I think. That also belongs to FCC, I see. Right now, <laughs> FCC, I see. So yeah, that's what it is it's like here. It's why it's so peaceful and enjoyable. And that's why I've come back because I was very, very stressed in Phnom Penh because of all the problems I had. People tried to break into my house too, my apartments. Walk up apartment by the riverside. It's not a good idea to stay by the riverside, by the way. It's very, very, very dangerous. And there's nasty, nasty tuk tuk mafia guys around. They, 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 they basically swarm around and attack you, you know, especially at night. Trying to sell you drugs, women, anything. And they push you, push you. They don't leave you alone. If you say no, they, they keep you going. You know, and then, and then you, 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 I finally tell them to fuck off, and then you can almost get in the fight, which happened to me twice. So God, they started fighting with me because I refused to get into their fucking tuk tuk. I mean, that's just one huge problem here, which I've written about and made videos about before, and you need to be aware of that. Dealing with them is nearly impossible. You can, you can just walk past them, ignore them, but they still won't leave you alone. One guy grabbed my arm as I was walking by, that nearly caused the fight. And they just don't stop unless you tell them to fuck off. And they don't, don't, then they don't like it. And I, I stopped them and said, look, if I want a tuk-tuk, I'll get a fucking tuk-tuk. I don't need you to push me into your tuk-tuk. You understand? And he's like, uh, but I need money. So I don't fucking care, I need money too. I work my ass off to make money, you know? So it's just, uh, the thinking is, is phenomenal. It just doesn't make sense. Anyway, enough of that story. Here I am back in wonderful Siem Reap where I'll be making lots of new fitness videos soon. Step, step sprinting, for example, swim sprinting, going to Kulin Mountain, hiking, trekking and all that lovely stuff. Yeah, I think there's actually a, in October, if I'm not mistaken, there's a, there's a, an event on that goes up the, hikes up the Kulin Mountain, a run. I have to look into that, maybe too late. I'm not sure. Anyway, all right guys, that's it for today, for this short video. Sorry I haven't been online very much. I've been traveling, but I can get back to making videos very, very soon every day.